All right, guys, good morning. Um, it is a, another day on the Kentucky Adventure Tour. Uh, we just turned on Forest Road 193 from our campsite. Um, and uh, as we head south toward uh, Williamsburg and Big South Fork um, National Recreation Area, one of the things um, that I've, I've heard a lot of good reviews about is that Big South Forest Recreation Area. So we're excited to get down there today. Uh, one big takeaway from yesterday is know your campsites. Uh, there's not a lot of dispersed camping in the Daniel Boone National Forest. And um, it's, uh, we ended up staying at a regular campground last night, which, you know, it was only $20, but it, it was loud. Um, there were lots of screaming kids and honking horns and doors shutting and loud exhausts and everything else. So just, uh, just plan your campsites. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, we're on the trail now. was an unexpected pretty cool uh, little uh, rock climb um, I've seen people go down it on video um, but so pretty neat this trail is uh, super tight and narrow and uh, lots of scratching going on and there hasn't been but so many people through here because there's a lot of just stuff hanging over on the sides, but um, a few little uh, mud areas, uh, but mainly it's just really tight, uh, little winding, almost like a side-by-side -side trail uh, that goes through here. straight down right now. This is like an 11% uh, grade.
took us uh, five minutes to crawl down that uh, section. All right, guys, well, that <laughs> uh, didn't expect that descent. Uh, looks like we dropped 200 feet in a pretty short uh, section, um, and we're still kind of descending. But that, that one uh, piece took us five minutes uh, at a slow crawl uh, to go down. So uh, just be aware, you know, if uh, you're coming this way or coming in the reverse way, you're gonna have to climb up that. Um, and then you'll go down that big rock step that we climbed up. Or if you're going the way I did, um, you're gonna have to descend it. So uh, just pick your line and let the sidewalls of your tires do their thing. All right, well, that was a pretty cool section of the trail. So we come off the forest road, I think it was 155. Um, and basically uh, you can bear to the right on the forest road or you can head what looks like up a, a dirt path and that's exactly what you what you do you'll find that rock face and then you climb up um, and go through a bunch of mud puddles and wind through the forest um, for a few miles and then you make that steep descent down um, and right at the base of that descent is a uh, is a cool waterfall so um, once you get past the waterfall, you get back up against some private property and you pop back out onto a, uh, a semi-paved, maintained road. So I think from here, we're headed to uh, Williamsburg. We'll get some fuel and um, head on to the next leg of our journey. All right, Jellicoe Creek Road uh, transitions to gravel. Here we got a one lane bridge across Jellicoe Creek. Should be back in U.S. Uh, Forest Service land. All right, now there uh, there are some dispersed U.S. Forest Service campsites um, all along the river. They're right next to the road. Um, I would guess that they uh, they fill up fill up fast. So it's a Saturday around noon and the seven or eight that I've seen um, are all already full uh, with folks with uh, side-by-sides and four-wheelers and things. So if this is your route during the week, um, when there, there might be less traffic, uh, there's a good chance you'll find a campsite through here. Constantly working. 
Well, when I pulled off, I just did a test because I've never done it before because I read an article a while back about it. And went ahead and, and touched the front and the rear shocks. And it's, they weren't hot like gonna burn your hand, but they were hot enough where it was uncomfortable to put your hand on it for a second. So that just shows you how much work those shocks do. And I'm not so sure that I'm gonna, I would invest in a set of um, reservoir shocks, but I think I'm gonna do a little more rural research. Uh, we pick up the uh, trail again off the pavement on um, Duncan Cemetery Road. Yeah, a uh, small gravel portion and it turns uh, right back to dirt. So we're headed toward the um, Big South Fork uh, recreation area, so. We're slowly winding our way through the back country in the woods. All right, so we come to another section that is just run it up. I'm going to try and stay out of the rut. you guys to see what I just had to come down. This crossover is crazy. recommend that uh, to anybody. All right, we're entering the uh, Big South Fork uh, Wildlife 
uh, resource wildlife management area. So after that one, you know, I can use a little bit of gravel road for a while.
guys. I don't think I've ever been so happy to uh, get out of a mountain uh, trail as I have for that one. Um, that was probably one of the most unnerving trails that uh, I've been on. It started off looking just fine. You know, groomed gravel road, uh, freshly done, threw some tracks of land, and then it went um, straight up. And they've had a lot of tree damage down here, so there was some stuff cut around, and then it went basically up a, a rock wash. Um, and I honestly, I I don't know how we made it made it up. And uh, it just was a these trails are supposed to be you know trails and that was by far probably the worst section uh, coming out of Oneida um, that again I, I wouldn't do that section either you know I think that it's just it has been uh, eroded to the point that um, you're basically climbing a four-wheeler trail and scrambling over rocks going up at a steep angle and then once you get to the top and you find the plateau and you think that everything's fine you got to come back down and you saw what uh what that looked like and i think it's just uh i don't know good morning guys uh it was a uh a late last night to end the video um yeah, uh, we made a lot of ground up yesterday. It was a longer day than I had anticipated. Uh, we left the lake, uh, made it down to Williamsburg, um, Big South Fork uh, Recreation Area, over to uh, Jellicoe, Tennessee, and um, from there we uh, continued headed uh, east on the trail. Um, once you come out of uh, Jellicoe, uh, Tennessee and head uh, west or east toward Pineville, um, when you come out of Pineville in the Kentucky State Forest, there is a um, crazy, rocky um, trail that climbs up a mountain to the top, to, climbs to the top of a mountain where there's an active <clears throat> mine right now. Um, we decided to make do some night wheeling and um, we did that trail in the dark which was quite an experience. Um, so we didn't end up getting uh, to camp till late. We decided to, again, because uh, there's not a lot of dispersed camping because it's all private land. We ran down to, um, once we came off the trail, we ran down to Cumberland Gap uh, through Middleboro um, to Cumberland Gap uh, National Forest and got a campsite there late. So good day overall, long day overall. We got much further than we had anticipated getting uh, just simply because the uh, uh, we decided to to take a, a night wheeling trip um, and get that part of the experience. So didn't quite expect the trail that we got, uh, but we met a bunch of side by side folks um, that night. Two big groups that were night wheeling as well. Super nice folks. Um, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Think about. Uh, hitting that like button and uh, this is Dan and Sam from Fisher Deep Adventures and uh, we'll see you on the trail.